In some cases, your application may need to check to see whether or not a class is defined in the script before you attempt to create a new instance of that class. So we'll use PHP's built-in class exists function. Let's demonstrate this with a very simple class. You can see I have a class called cart, and it has two properties, store and items. Now in my application called demo.php, I'm going to include once my cart class, cart.php. Okay, so in our application, before we try and access anything, we're going to create an if condition to check and see if it exists. So let's type in class underscore exists, open close parentheses, and in between the parentheses, we can put in the name of the class that we're looking for to see if it exists. Now this function returns either true or false. So you'll get a value of either true or false that will tell you if it exists or not. So you can put it in this if condition. So if it exists, we can create a new object reference. Let's call it shopping cart. And that's equal to new cart. And let's echo the shopping cart store property. Then you can say else echo cart class does not exist. And you can wrap that in double quotes if you like. Okay, so if the class exists called cart, then we're going to create a new object reference from that cart and we're going to echo the store. And you can see the store is spacely sprockets. So we should get spacely sprockets to echo here if the cart class is found. If the cart class is not found, this will echo. Okay, so you can see when I run this, I get spacely sprockets because the cart class does exist. So I created the object and I dug into the object's store property to echo it to the page. Okay, so your class exists function gets a parameter of the class that you're looking for and this is case insensitive that means if you had an uppercase C here it would still match 